Hey guys, it's Luke here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to download uh, and set up a Minecraft server so that on your IP, so your friends can join. So, um, first of all, you need to make a folder uh, and call this Minecraft server. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible because I've made three videos today and every single one didn't render properly. So, um, so this is the Minecraft server folder. Um, you want to keep that wherever you want. And now we need the server files. So we're going to go onto the internet and we're going to go Minecraft dot uh, not dot net. Once it's loaded, you want to log into your account and just use your details. Okay, and now on the right hand side of the screen, you want to click download now. You want to go uh, down the page to multiplayer server. It says if you're running on Windows and you just want to set up a server easily, download Minecraft server, blah, blah, blah. You want to download that. So we download that. Uh, when it downloads, you don't want to open it, you want to show it in folder. Um, and then you want to, it will come up, it will be highlighted, you want to cut that close that and now you want to go back to your desktop and copy it into the Minecraft server so let's paste uh, I'm going to rename mine server start button because that's pretty much what it does um, so my Minecraft server is now inside my Minecraft server folder now I need to get my IP address the way you do this is you go into ipchicken.com and it should just be there so I'm just going to copy and paste that and close that again and just put it into a notepad quickly where notepad is and there you go that's my notepad uh, I'm also going to make a, uh, a note here so my port is 25565 and I'll tell you why it's 25565 in a minute so we've done the server files and we've done the IP address now all we need to do is set up the port forwarding that's the difficult bit of this whole process so you want to go onto your uh, whatever internet service provider you use and you want to go onto your in your like home hubs page or like your your routers home page so the way you access that is you type in 192.168.1.254 so you go onto that and it will take you to your well, my home hub page or to your um, your routers page so from the BT home hub page you want to go into settings and you want to log into your admin and my password uh, you want to go to advanced settings which is on the right hand side of the blue bar and you want to continue to advanced settings now it will take you to a screen which is blank and you want to go to the top and it should say wireless broadband home network port forwarding system based settings. You want to click on port forwarding now and you should have, um, one sec, sorry that won't be there. Uh, it should give you a blue box option of saying configuration, supported applications, UNPN and you want to click on supported applications, that's pretty much what you want to do. Uh, you want to add a new game or application uh, and you don't want to copy an existing game or application. So. The game application name can be anything you want, so I'm going to call this Le Minecraft Server. 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 Um, and the port range. Okay, this is where I was talking about the port range. The port range has to be 25565. If you want to connect to, um, or if you want your friends to connect to your home Minecraft server on your IP address, it has to have the default Minecraft server port. So the default port is 25565. And you want to put that in every single box just to be safe. Um, 25565 and 25565. Okay, now you want to add that, and you just want to make sure the protocols are any, and it should say underneath that um, it's any protocol with a port range 25565 to translate it to 25565. So you're going to apply that, and I should now go back to the configure. Oh no, back to the supported applications, and it should say that I added a game called the Minecraft Server. Uh, so I want to go back now to basic settings, which is at the top hour of the blue bar, uh, and you want to go back to port forwarding, which is in the same place in the uh, blue bar, but now you're on basic settings rather than advanced settings. So you want to go find um, your Minecraft server, whatever you call it, mine being Lair Minecraft server, and I want to go down to my device. The way you find out your device is you go onto, um, like I know mine's the real deal, but if I want to find out, I'd go to computer. Uh, I'd right click on my local disk, um, oh wait no, it's actually, it's in the bottom left hand corner, but um, if, if it isn't there for any reason, which it should be, you go to properties, uh, you go to security, and it will be under administrators, and it will be the first first one, um, which is the real deal, uh, and the real, well, no, it won't be the real deal, the real deal is my uh, computer name, but anyway, so you want to cancel that, and you know it's the real deal, so um just click on that and add device and now it should allow any people to connect from 
Um, any people trying to connect onto my Minecraft server will now be pushed to my device with the ID number of 20AA, 4B, and all that stuff. Okay, so now the port forward is up. You want to close this, uh, and we'll minimize it for the time being. Um, and we go back to the notepad file where we have the IP address and the port number. So I want to now turn on the Minecraft server. So I open the Minecraft server folder, folder again and just click the server start button. I want to run that. You may have to run as administrator depending on your, your settings, but I can just click it. So now it's just going to load the, the menu, uh, no, sorry, the server. Uh, it will be a Java um, folder, a uh, file, sorry. And once that's done, it should say done. Um, and then you can just, you can close the uh, this, but I'm going to make myself an op quickly so I can just do whatever I want. Spook EU. Uh, and I'm just going to save that folder, file. Uh, now I'm going to open my Minecraft, um, which you should do straight away. Uh, now you want to select your profile, mine's going to be spooky, you automatic does it, and play. And it's going to load up, it's going to take its time, no it's not, okay sweet, multiplayer, um, you ignore that, uh, you go to add server, you can call the server name whatever you want, so I'm literally going to call it whatever I would like to call it. Uh, the server address, okay this is where this notepad folder uh, file came in for use, the server IP is your IP address that you found on IP Chicken. Now you want to put a colon in between and now you want to put in your port number um, which is 255665 and that's the reason that is that number is because that's the default port for Minecraft so I'm just going to copy and paste that in as well. Um, I'm going to hide my, actually it doesn't matter if you hide your address or not but uh, I'm going to hide it just, just for the purpose um, and this is one I made earlier so I'm going to delete that quickly and whatever I would like to call it it's now up and running, so I'm just going to click join server, and it should say in my Java file that I've joined the game, um, and yeah, so sweet, that's that's the server set up, just to prove that it's working, I'm just going to quickly put down a, um, oh wait, well no, no, no it's fine, it's, it's, it's working now, I can't really add a block, block of lava, but what this, this um, folder file here does, um, is it recognizes uh, anything that happens on the server so if I died it would say spooky you died for X reason so say if I drowned in water it would say spooky you drowned in water or if I jumped in lava it would say like oh I burnt to death or whatever um, so and you can really watch like this spike will go up and down a lot like so say if I put a new cough uh, say if I was playing on your craft it would be really obvious because I would have a massive, massive a uh, massive lag spike uh, it would be really obvious so that's how you set up a minecraft server guys i really hope this has helped um if it has please leave a comment uh like and subscribe to the video and yeah uh thank thanks for watching guys uh make sure you have a wonderful day and i'll catch you all later